So I've got one of these flasks off eBay. It's quite cheap, but it has a, a thermometer built in. And um, mine had gone virtually dead. You could still just make out the figures in dim light, but um, certainly wasn't showing very clearly. So I tried to work out how I could replace the battery and uh, it's obviously not meant to be replaced is the short answer. So I just thought I'd post this video to, to let people know who might be curious about replacing the battery in theirs if they've got one of these. The flasks are really cheap to start with, but um, I don't know, it's a shame to lose that function. The flask itself is pretty good. Um, anyway, the answer seems to be to prise the, uh, this white trim off the lid around here to the point where you can pick out the, uh, the disc at the top. So to get the lid off this, you actually have to prise around the edge because this top edge of this outer, I assume it's aluminium, but it's quite stiff, it could be steel actually. Um, this uh, white trim, anyway, is peened over to hold in this quite thick plastic lid, which is um, transparent, or at least it's heavily misted, but it's heavily smoked, but it is transparent. And inside is a little module, which um, has a battery on the back. And it's a 2032 battery, but the battery is spot welded on both sides to the contacts. So it's certainly not replaceable readily. I actually managed to prise the contacts off just with a pen knife. Um, so picked it off this side and same the other side. I put a new battery in and just taped it on with some 3M magic tape, which is rather crude, but um, seems to have done the job for now. And this is a spacer, this foam spacer. And the actual temperature sensor is down inside there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's potted in some kind of um, rigid sealant type paste is holding it in which is actually on the underside of this steel part that um, is in contact with the liquid potentially certainly in the main fluid chamber so it's quite good really you know, it's obviously picking up the temperature of the inside of the flask which is what you'd want so, so that space just goes back in there this fits on top a little spring here which is obviously a capacitive sensor so that just makes contact with a, a ring in here I don't know if you can see that where there's a kind of a trans a sort of satin finish ring and then the, uh, the shiny glossy window through to the, the top side I'm not sure whether that's conductive it looks like it could be some sort of copper layer I don't think it needs to be especially but you just, just need a capacitive effect on this spring and it lights up for so many seconds and then goes out again so that's a lot brighter now than it was when i started but essentially that just um fits under there but i can hopefully push this back in again and it will work okay so that's back in place again and it works again. I'm just gonna push this over slightly. I'm not gonna try and get it back to the way it was. I say this is a sort of semi-destructive process really. It'd be very hard to restore it to its original pristine finish. But um, I'm gonna carry on using it. So it's actually quite a, a nice flask. The flask itself on the stainless steel parts all seem quite good quality. The south trim isn't magnetic, by the way, so it's, I guess it's not steel, it's a stainless steel. It's probably aluminium, but it does feel quite hard. Anyway, so it still works. So obviously not designed to be replaced, but some um, it is feasible. And just out of interest, that's um, how they work. Thanks for watching.